Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discover Grave region and Appellation. So it is located on the left bank of Bordeaux and extends from Pessac Léonien at the north up to the south of Sauterne and Barsac. The superficy of Grave is of about 3,500 hectares of vines with 250 winemakers and 20 million bottles produced every year. As regards the history of the region, it was the Gaulois, the ancient name for people living in the French territory, who adapted the Mediterranean vine of the Roman conqueror to oceanic climates. The Bordeaux vineyards are thus born on the meeting of the two civilizations of wine lovers. The real development of wine graves only began in the Middle Ages. At the time, the first vines were planted in the very heart of the city of Bordeaux and its surrounding, on poor stony land unsuitable for any other cultivation. In 1152, with the marriage of Eleanor of Aquitaine and King Henry II of England, brought prosperity to the region. This reinforced the low privilege, which prevented any import of wines from outside Bordeaux, and its stocks were exhausted. So the vineyard of Bordeaux flourished far from any unfair competition. The growth of local and internal demand coupled with the rise of wine estates, which were cramped with the limits of the city. This gradually forced the extension of the banlieue Prévotale to the southern and eastern limits of the borderlands and developed also in the areas further, bringing a greater diversity of soils. The golden age of the region began in the 14th century with the craze for the Clairé, Bordeaux Clairé. And this rosé wine was then a great success due to its liveliness and its refreshing character, which strongly appealed to the merchant of the port of England. Vineyards of Bordeaux came to produce only 17% of red at this time and 80% of rosé wines, white wine being then anecdotal in the region. From the 16th to the 18th century, large estates devoted the production of quality wines. These wines, which then appear under the common name of Grave wines, were considered to be Bordeaux wine by excellence. Exports to England and Northern Europe were doing well. And the Côte de Grave, as it was called, then dominated the market until the end of the 18th century. So the region overcome the uh, successive viticultural crises, uh, such as the phylloxera, uh, the winter frost, and of course the arrival of wines from the New World. The AOC, Appellation d'Origine Contrôlée, Grave, was established in 1953, and Pessac Léonien in 1987. Our regard the certification of Grand Cru, it concerned only Pessac Léonien wines, and it was established in 1959, except for Chateaubriand, which was ranked as a Grand Cru Classé in 1855 with the other wines of the Médoc. We have a video about the appellation Pessac Lognon that you can check about it. So to name few makers from the Grave region, uh, we have Château Dumen, Château Bellevue, Château Lusso, etc. As regards the soil of Grave, it is a result of a long and complex history, uh, closely linked with the birth of the Garonne River, to the modification of its course and the successive glacial periods of the Quaternary Era. The soil is mainly made of, as it indicates the name, grave, gravels, uh, pebbles, sand milled with silt and clay, resting in some places on limestone, but generally on pure sand, alios or clays. As regards the climate, it is very representative of the Gironde, influenced by the Atlantic Ocean, which means temperate and favorable to the growing of the vine. So the production of AOC grave uh, concerns red wine, white wine, and also moelleux, means sweet wine, under the appellation grave supérieure. For the Grave Red, the varieties being used are Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. Those wines are renowned for their aromas of red fruits and their beautiful tannic structure. This wine benefits from a balanced blend of grape variety, where Cabernet, Sauvignon and Franc bring aromas and structure, and Merlot perfume and suppleness, to which are sometimes added Petit Verdot, Malbec and Carmelaire. Those wines are great to enjoy with grilled and roasted red meat, hearty cold cut steroid, and for cheeses, some semi-hard cheeses such as a Morbier. As we got the white, the grape variety used are Sémillon, Sauvignon Blanc and Muscadel. The white wines of grape develop floral notes as well as natural fat that does not exclude freshness. Those wines are lively, expressive and with sometimes a bit of musky notes, floral and citrus aromas and flavors, and sometimes some exotic and minty hints. The aging barrels happen more and more frequently that allows them to gain richness and complexity after a few years of aging while the un-oak whites keep their freshness. So the whites are great to enjoy with uh, fishes in sauce, like Ton Nabasquez, for example, from the same region, uh, to Nabasquez style, or hard nutty cheeses, such as a Comté. 
As we get the grave supérieur, so the sweet wines, those are made for grape harvested at overripeness, done by manual selection, reading the same gravity as the regular AOC grave white. So the Sémillon provides round and ample wines associated with Sauvignon and Muscadel that brings the freshness. Those are definitely great to enjoy with a nice blue cheese, such as a Roquefort, or a fruity dessert, such as an apricot tart. All AOC graves that are red and white are meant to be kept for several years before drinking them, from 7 to 15 years, and sometimes more. A nice attraction uh, when visiting Graves is the Rencontre Musicale Internationale des Graves. This is a musical festival happening every year in July. So people can immerse themselves into exhilarating world of classical and contemporary music in a setting of the prestigious Chateau of the Graves and Sauterne, with talented musicians from all around the world. So thank you for watching this video, we hope you liked it, and see you next time for another wine video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.